Feed represents the largest expense in dairy and beef operations. Grazing supplies feed at less cost than stored forages and grain supplements. However, effective grazing systems require producers to successfully balance forage growth with livestock needs. University of Missouri Extension has developed the Grazing Wedge, an online application that helps manage forage on pasture-based farms. The application is available at the University of Missouri Extension website. The Grazing Wedge shows forage availability. It helps producers know when to begin and end grazing in paddocks and proceed to the next paddock in a rotation. The Grazing Wedge helps producers decide when paddocks are ready to graze when mechanical harvest or mowing should be conducted, and if fertilizer application would be beneficial to paddocks. These decisions affect forage yield, quality, and the number of days animals spend grazing. The grazing wedge application can be an important tool to optimize forage systems in the beef and dairy industry and increase profit for Missouri producers who measure, monitor, and manage their grazing systems. Well-managed systems must be monitored. The best way to accurately monitor pastures is through measurement of key pasture indicators. The measure, monitor, and manage approach enables proactive rather than reactive decisions. From the Grazing Wedge homepage, users can browse the public farm reports. Summary table and harvested yield reports and grazing wedges are available from the farms of producers who choose to share their data. By viewing reports from other farms, Users may discover new management styles and techniques to improve their own bottom line. In order to input data and view reports for your own farms, you must first create a user account. Enter your name. Enter an email address and create a password for your Grazing Wedge account. The email and password serve as your login credentials for your account. Location information can be entered but is not required. Finally, Choose your preferred unit of measure for data entry, either pounds per acre or kilograms per hectare. Select Create and your account is created. Continue to the My Account page where you can edit your user information or add farms to your account. To add farms to your account, click the Add New Farm button and enter the farm name. Choose whether the data for this farm will remain private to you or be made available to the public. You can record any pertinent information about the farm in the note field. Default values can be entered to pre-populate the data entry screen when the paddock data is entered. The optimum minimum cover value is the producer's set target of pasture available to cows after a grazing event, typically 1,200 to 1,800 pounds per acre. The optimum maximum cover value is the producer's set target of pasture available to cows before a grazing event typically 2,000 to 3,000 pounds per acre. Users can also add information regarding milk production and supplementation for production record purposes. Click Create to add the farm to your account. Although most producers will have a single farm, it is possible to include additional farms to the account by repeating the Add New Farm process. To add paddocks to your farm, from the My Account page, click on the farm. Beneath the farm information, Click the Add Paddocks button. Indicate the number of paddocks to add to the farm and continue. Name the paddocks. Provide area measurements for each and indicate cool or warm season plant types. Indicate whether the paddock is in active rotation or inactive rotation if the paddock is being renovated and forage growth is not currently monitored. These entries are made only once for each paddock. However, this data can be edited at any time from the My Account page. With the farms and paddocks added to your account, select the Enter Paddock Data button to add the paddock data. Choose the appropriate farm. If necessary, change the measurement date from the current default date. In Step 2, default values have pre-populated the appropriate fields. This can be changed if necessary. Complete other fields as relevant and choose Continue. In Step 3, enter the amount of dry matter yield in the Dry Matter Yield text box for each paddock. You can also make changes to the plant type or mark a paddock as inactive if you've taken it out of production. 
Select Continue, and the Grazing Wedge application will produce a visual depiction of the farm created from the paddock data you provided for that particular date. Whether pasture growth is measured visually or estimated from a grazing stick, rising plate meter, or ultrasonic device, the data you provide creates reports to better monitor pasture growth and inventory, and better manage feed and grazing resources. From the Farm Reports page, Users may view summary table and harvested yield reports and grazing wedges for selected farms. For a particular farm, select View under Grazing Wedge and the application will produce the grazing wedge for that farm, generated from the paddock data you entered for that date. Use the Select Date drop-down menu to view grazing wedges for previous dates. The paddocks are shown in order of greatest pasture yield to least. Each paddock is color-coded indicating its status. Green means the forage is optimal for grazing. Red signals forage has surpassed optimal grazing conditions, and the paddock should be harvested and feed stored for later use. Yellow means the paddock was grazed too long or has not achieved the desired grazing height. The blue target cover line is based on the optimum minimum and maximum cover values. It indicates a potential forage surplus or deficit presently and or in the future. Ideally, all paddocks have green bars and follow the blue target cover line. Using the data you input for each paddock, the grazing wedge guides decisions concerning the grazing schedule, fertilizer applications, surplus forage harvest, and supplementation. It also helps predict forage deficits before they occur. Beneath the wedge is the summary of key indicators from the data that are useful in grazing management. Used with the Measure, Monitor, and Manage strategy, the grazing wedge enables producers to determine paddock grazing order, which paddocks to graze, and which may require mechanical harvesting. It provides valuable information, such as pre- and post-grazing forage mass, yields across paddocks, the growth rate, or average mass of dry matter grown on the farm per acre per day, and the average cover, or forage availability averaged across all paddocks. The grazing wedge can help maintain forage availability to cattle throughout most of the growing season. In addition to grazing wedge reports, the summary table shows a week-by-week, -week, full season report, including the descriptive data on your farm for the selected year. You can view reports from previous years through the Select Year drop-down menu. Harvested yield shows the mass, or weight, of forage harvested to date for all paddocks. This information can indicate poor yielding paddocks which are candidates for renovation and or soil testing and fertility amendment. View reports from previous years through the Select Year drop-down menu. Note the summary table and harvested yield reports can be downloaded as CSV files and imported into most spreadsheet software. And keep in mind, your data can always be edited by clicking on the farm name on the My Account page. You are able to edit the farm default values, the paddock information, as well as the paddock data. The University of Missouri Extension Grazing Wedge application, used in conjunction with a strategy to measure, monitor, and manage your grazing systems, can be an important tool to optimize forage systems and increase profits for Missouri livestock producers.